Welcome to today's episode of Your Cruise Questions Answered Where we answer your cruise questions and debunk cruise myths In association with our Facebook page P&O, Iona and Avia, stupid questions are not stupid Our information videos assume you are cruising with P&O Cruises Let's begin this is an update as per the BBC with reference to the situation between Mayleth Aero and the cruise line P&O. The BBC says that it contacted Mayleth Aero and it said, Mayleth is eager to get things wrapped up with Carnival and any valid UK 261 claims paid out. However, at this time Mayleth has not been fully paid for those flights. Mayleth and Carnival are in the process of reaching an agreement on open amounts due to Mayleth, which Mayleth believed exceed the amount of deposits received and the amount UK 261 claims. At present, Mayleth has not been paid for onboard catering or alcoholic beverage service, among other costs. These costs were not included in the contract with Carnival but Mayleth stepped in to cover them to accommodate passengers and minimize the discomfort Carnival customers would have had without those services. Mayleth is committed to paying valid UK 261 claims and has in fact proposed to Carnival that it will open an escrow account with a third party to receive Carnival's payment, from which UK 261 claims that are determined to be due will be directly dispersed. It added the following points. It said Mayleth is fully prepared to pay UK 261 claims determined to be due to Carnival customers but requires full compensation due from Carnival for the flights in order to do so. Though passengers have paid Carnival in full for the flights, Mayleth has not been paid in full for the flights from its customer, Carnival Cruises. Mayleth requires to be paid for the services before it can pay for any penalties attendant to those services. Nonetheless, Mayleth and Carnival have an open dialogue to close these open items. It said it has proposed to Carnival that it will open an escrow account for Carnival to pay into, from which it will directly disperse funds to Carnival customers with valid UK 261 claims, and that this structure would allow it to satisfy Carnival customers' claims first, even if Carnival feels there are open issues to resolve between Mayleth and Carnival afterwards. It said that Carnival contracted Mayleth for a high-density seating aircraft, with no in-flight entertainment system, and no catering nor alcohol service included. This proved to be very much at odds with Carnival customers' expectations of a more premium luxury passenger operation. It said certain Mayleth aircraft do offer business class seating, with newer cabins and in-flight entertainment options, but they were not chosen by Carnival for these flight and that Mayleth suffered the blame from Carnival customers for failing to offer services that had not been included. Furthermore it said public pressure from Carnival customers forced Mayleth to scramble to try to make additional services available to Carnival customers, the nature of which made for a disappointing and disruptive experience related to these services reported by customers. It said it has not been paid for any of the onboard meals or alcoholic beverage service. Among significant other costs, that Mayleth stepped in to provide in order to try to meet the expectation and minimize the discomfort of Carnival's passengers. This saddled Mayleth with a significant amount of unforeseen costs and created other disruptions felt by all involved. It said Mayleth is committed to working in cooperation with Carnival to close out any open items, with valid UK 261 claims chief among those. The BBC additionally contacted P&O, Carnival, and it said. It was our very disappointed that despite being legally responsible to do so, Mayleth Aero has not paid some guests compensation under Regulation 261 for flight delays experienced by those guests when joining or departing from one of our holidays. The law exists to make airlines responsible and hold them to account for delays or cancellations incurred due to their fault, and therefore Mayleth Aero must pay the compensation to guests and we would encourage them to do so promptly. 
Guests who are still waiting for compensation should contact the Civil Aviation Authority, which may be able to offer advice. It said when it entered the contract with Mailer that it specifically requested aircraft with full in-flight entertainment, but it was told there were none available for its required passenger capacity. In-flight catering was also a core element agreed by both parties, as it would provide for all our guests on its charter aircraft. It said it was very unhappy with the service provided by Mailer, as it was not up to the standard agreed, and certainly was not what it would want for its P&O Cruises guests. P&O Cruises no longer has a commercial relationship with Mayleth Aero and will not be using the airline in the future. It said it has paid all monies due to Mayleth, but added it was looking at legal action to recover monies owed to it by Mayleth. So, there you have it, a BBC watchdog investigation into the current Mayleth Aero and Carnival compensation situation. If you are in any doubt about anything you've seen on this channel, our advice would always be to contact P&O Cruises directly, where they will be able to assist you further. The contact details are on screen now. If you found this short video helpful, please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel and joining our Facebook group. Details are in the description below. Have a great day and an amazing cruise!